Welcome! In this video, we're going to look at using library items to be able to create reusable pieces of code. Now, in this example, I have a navigation menu already set up over here, and I have rollover buttons for that navigation menu. So if I go into Live View just to demonstrate for you, you can see that uh, they roll over and what we're going to demonstrate is how to take this menu and place it in the other pages in the website. Now the other pages in the website are already set up except for the navigation. Now what we want to do is create a navigation so that we have one file that controls it so that if we add something else to our itinerary here or we decide we wanted to change the order of the buttons that we don't have to go into every single page and copy and paste or do a manual layout change. And the technique to do that in Dreamweaver is called using a library item. So to create a library item, first of all I'm going to select the navigation menu that I want to reuse. And I can see that it's set up as a table. So I'm going to select the entire table in the tag bar just to make sure that I have that complete thing selected. And then I'm going to go to Modify, Library, Add Object to Library. And then you can see over here in my Assets panel, it changed to the library. Right, This is the bottom of the icon for Library. And we can see the menu here. And I have to give it a name, so I'm just going to call it Menu. Now to add this menu to the other places in my website, I'm going to go to the other pages. I'm going to choose navigation. I'm going to select that. I'm going to come to the library and choose menu and insert. And it replaces the navigation text with my menu. So now I can repeat that process on each of the other web pages that I want to add my menu to. Right, so we come in here, insert. Okay, so now each of my pages has the menu added. So what I want to do is test this in my browser. Okay, so here's my index page and my navigation menu. And they were already linked to go to the right pages. Now my menu is here, but I can see that the rollovers aren't working. So when I go to any of the other pages, none of the rollovers are working. So we need to fix that. So back in Dreamweaver, on the index page, I'm going to go to the code. We can see what's going on behind the scenes. Well, first of all, before I forget, I want to point out with this navigation menu selected, you can see on the tag bar it has MM lib item. So this is a uh, Dreamweaver's way of marking it as a library item. Now, the library, it created a folder. And I have to refresh this. Okay, it created a library folder, and in that library folder is menu.lbi. So it is a completely separate file, and if I double click on this, you'll see that this has the menu, and it has the code for the menu. And this code has JavaScript in it, which handles the rollovers. But this is actually calling another JavaScript to do the rollover functions. So this is saying on click to do this JavaScript function. But that JavaScript function is in the index HTML page, not in the menu LBI page. So that means the JavaScript that's actually doing this is not in any of the other web pages. It's only an index. So I'm going to go back to the design view and switch back to my index page. And if I select this menu and I go into the code view, right, this is where the navigation menu is. And you can see here's the comment for where the library starts and where the library item ends. But on the index page, up in the head section, is all of this JavaScript, which is the actual JavaScript for the functionality of the rollover buttons. 
So this is the code that we need to get onto the other HTML pages so that they will recognize the rollover. So I'm going to switch back to the design view. And there's actually a tool built into Dreamweaver that will allow us to externalize the JavaScript, which means it's going to take that internal JavaScript that was in this code and it'll put it into a separate JavaScript file and then we can easily connect these other files to that JavaScript so that our rollovers will work. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to commands and externalize JavaScript. Okay, and we have an option in here, only externalize JavaScript or externalize JavaScript and attach unobtrusively. I'm just going to choose only externalize JavaScript and you can see the option remove JavaScript from head is selected. So we want to remove it and put it into a separate external file. So I'm going to click OK and then I get a summary of what it did. It removed it from the head and it created the index.js file. So if I click OK and I come back into my code view Right, you can see this is where all that JavaScript code was and now it's replaced it with a link to a JavaScript file. Now in my files panel over to the side it created index.js so you can see this is the JavaScript file that handles this functionality. What we want to do is connect our other HTML pages to this script. One way is we could copy this tag and paste it into the other HTML pages, but we can also do it without getting into the code view. So if you don't like working in the code, uh, this is another option. We can go to the About page, and then we can go to Insert, HTML, Script Objects, and Script. And now we can navigate to that index.js file and that, again, remember, contains the functionality for the rollover buttons. We'll click OK. And it's a warning us that we won't be able to see it unless we go into Preferences and turn this hidden element on. So I'm going to check off Don't Show Me This Again so that I don't get it for all the other pages that I'm going to work with. So now I need to go to my all of my other pages and repeat that process. So insert HTML script objects script and browse to the index javascript file so i'm going to pause this while i go in and add this to the remaining pages okay so i've added it to my other html pages and i have to go i'm going to go in and save each of these okay so now i'm ready to test this in my browser again so i'm going to uh, test it out and see if now my rollovers work. Okay, so the index page was working before and now my rollovers are working. So each of the pages has been updated with the menu. So now again, the beauty of using a library item is, well, what if we wanted to change something in the menu? We added another location or in this case, I think about us would probably be better coming up after home instead of at the end. So we're going to go in and edit that library item. So I'm going to go to my menu LBI file, right? This is the original file now for the menu. And I'm just going to take my about us and I'm going to move it up to right after home. And then I'm just going to move each of these around so that we get everything back in order here. Okay, now I'm going to save this. So I'm going to save my library item and it gets a message saying, okay, your other files in your website use this library item. Do you want to update them or not? So if you choose not to update them, then they're going to keep the old version. So you have that option, but I want to update everything. So I'm going to choose update and it gives me a little log that goes through and I can close. And now you can see all of these files that were saved a second ago have been changed or edited. So if I come up into these, you can see that the About Us has moved 
because they're all referencing that menu LBI file. So if I do file and save all, I can go back into the browser and refresh it or preview it in the browser again, right? And so now our menu items are updated on each of the pages, all without having to copy and paste everything again. So that's the basics of using a library item in order to create something that will allow you to go back in and update it across your website if you choose to have the pages updated with the changes.